In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a downstream keyer and overlay graphics in OBS. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. Someone asked me here on my YouTube channel the other day if there was a way to create a downstream keyer in OBS. That's a really good question because that functionality isn't really built into OBS. So I figured I'd make a quick video showing you some ways that you can create this functionality yourself. Before I get started, if you find this video useful and want to see more of my videos about live streaming and really any live production technology, be sure and subscribe to my channel. First, let's talk about what a downstream keyer is and why it's difficult to do in OBS. The way scenes work in OBS is that for each scene, you build up what you want to show with sources. So usually you'd start with your video or camera source as your base layer, and then you can add an image source on top of that. If it were a solid image like a JPEG, it's going to completely cover the video. So you need to use an image with transparency. I like to use PNG files. You can create a PNG file in any photo editing program you have access to. Photoshop works great. Or even a free online program like Pixlr will create PNGs for you. This scene now has this image overlaid, and I can toggle it on and off with the little eye toggle switch here in the sources list. This approach works fine for simple things, like if you just want to add a logo bug in the corner of your video, just create two scenes, one with the logo and one without, and you can turn the logo on and off by switching scenes. That's how OBS was designed to work. Now, the problem in OBS comes when I want to either switch scenes, say to another camera, the image goes away. So I'd have to add that image to all my scenes. But that becomes a problem when I want to change the content of what's being overlaid independently from my scenes. Say I have a scripture verse or someone's name in a lower third graphic that I want to toggle on and off at different times, no matter what camera or scene is active in OBS. The way most switchers solve this problem is with a downstream keyer. It overlays content over your video after it's been switched. In OBS, it would have to be something that can be applied globally to all your scenes and be controlled on and off and content changed separately from your scene control. Well, the bad news is this functionality doesn't exist in OBS. So I guess that's the end of this video. No, not really. I'm going to show you three workarounds you can use to get downstream keyer functionality in OBS. Number one is just to use an image file. I'll admit this is probably the clunkiest method, but it works in a pinch. I created a PNG file and called it overlay.png, and I'll add that to all my scenes in OBS. I'll call it Photoshop DSK. Now in Photoshop, just overwrite that file, and as soon as the file is written to the hard drive, it will update in OBS. So if you have a program like Photoshop, you could create your different layers for the different content you want to use ahead of time, toggle the one you want on, save the file as a PNG, and it goes live in OBS. Like I said, it's a little clunky. It's hard to get the timing exactly right. Probably not the way I would do it, but it works in a pinch. Method number two is to use a program with NDI output. There are more and more programs out there that are implementing NDI output. Or you could use any worship software and the vMix desktop capture program to send your display output over NDI to OBS. I have another video that walks you through that. That would be a great way to add lower third lyrics from your worship software. There's also this really old program called Bible Show that displays scriptures to a display meant to be sent to a projector, but they added NDI functionality to the program, which is pretty cool. In OBS, to add NDI content over your video, you first need to install the NDI plugin for OBS. I'll link that down in the description of this video. And once that is installed, you'll have the NDI source available to add to your scenes and sources. I'll call it Bible Show DSK. Now in Bible Show, you have to configure a second display for NDI output and create a template for your lower third. Then when I launch a scripture verse, let's say John 3, 16, and play that, it shows up in OBS. 
Back in OBS, I can add the Bible Show DSK source to all my scenes, and now I can switch scenes independently from the content being overlaid from Bible Show, and I can switch the content in Bible Show and clear it without having to change my scenes in OBS. Because it's NDI, this program could be running on a different computer with a different operator, or like I'm doing right now, just running on the same computer with OBS. I know Easy Worship, while it's not free, is another program that has a really good implementation of NDI. So keep your eye out for programs that are implementing NDI. The third method, and this is my favorite, is to use a free program called PPT to NDI. I think this is the best implementation for setting up a downstream keyer in OBS. I discovered this little program while trying to answer this question here on my channel, and I think it's a great solution for live productions with OBS. First, download and install the PPT NDI program. Again, it's linked down in the description of this video. And just like in the last solution, you'll also need the NDI plugin installed in OBS. Launch the program in PPT Classic mode, then in OBS, add your NDI source. I'm going to call it PPT DSK. And then select PPT NDI in the source dropdown. Now load any PowerPoint file that you've created. And just by selecting a slide, it's going to be overlaid in OBS. When you create slides in PowerPoint, anywhere where you left the background without anything covering it will be transparent. As long as you don't check this includes background switch. So I can create slides with any images, again using PNGs with transparency, or I can just create text right in PowerPoint. It's usually a good idea to make your first slide blank because as soon as you open a file, that first slide gets launched. And then you'll also have an easy way to clear the overlay just by going back to slide one. Back in OBS, I'll add this PPT DSK source to all my scenes. And now I've got independent overlay control from my scene switching. And again, because it's NDI, I could run this on a separate computer with a different operator or run it right here on the same computer with OBS. I will say one drawback of this program right now is that there's no way to fade between your overlays. It's going to pop on and off and cut between them. As of just a few days ago, the developer did claim to be working on a way to use the PowerPoint transitions. So hopefully that will get added soon so we can fade things on and off. Until that happens, if you want to fade your overlays on and off, you can create two scenes, one with the overlay and one without, and use that in OBS to fade in the overlay. I hope you found this useful. Three ways you can create a DSK in OBS. Until next time, bye.